What's going on guys? Welcome back to more Rome 2. I'm playing as Sparta. I've taken over two towns, well, just one town so far, uh, named Larissa up here. Um, I decided not to try to attack uh, Athens or Athena, Athenai, <laughs> um, just because uh, it, it's probably going to be really difficult to take it out. It's pretty, it's, it's a very large town. And uh, they've got a lot of troops, so um, I've been playing the game also uh, in a single player, just by myself, just kind of learning the game as well. So I am kind of, uh, I've learned a little bit. Uh, I haven't really gotten that far in the game on my other play. Um, somebody suggested that I should get rid of the mercenaries that I hired. You are absolutely right. Look at this. These guys cost 420 a turn. Um... And these are 320, so um, it's even cheaper to recruit them than it is to hold them for a turn. So, like like uh, the person said, definitely get rid of them. Um, you just want to hire them for sieging, and then as soon as you're done, just get rid of them. See, that increased my, uh, my current uh, projected income by like 800. <laughs> okay, now I'm just trying to figure out what I was doing here. I need one population surplus. Upgrade your cities and build aqueducts to increase your growth rate. Oh, okay. So, population surplus uh, increases as the town grows. Right now I'm getting two, uh, two growth per turn, I think. So, take a couple turns, I guess, to... Uh, before I can build this. Uh, before I can make it a Hellenistic hamlet. Uh, Alright, so I've got my spy up here. Um, I think I already used them that turn. Improved irrigation. I should probably research that next. Ready for battle. At your command. Uh, let's see. What am I researching? Yeah, I'm going to go with uh, land management and improved irrigation. Um, food is definitely important, I really think. So, yeah, I really need to research military stuff too. But uh, gravitas is the accumulated popularity. We'll get into that. A little bit later. All right, let's go ahead and just end the turn. I don't think there's anything else I want to do this turn. Athena gives wisdom, and Ares gives strength. I give you peace, if you will dare it. Yeah, see, one thing about diplomacy is that you can tell by the the person that you're um, uh, basically doing diplomacy with, <laughs> um, they're confident or unreliable. Unreliable is really bad because um, the higher uh, the chances that they'll turn against you if you ally with them. Um, and if they're aggressive, they're going to attack more towns and stuff. So if you're in like a military alliance with someone who's confident and reliable or someone who's aggressive and unreliable, then they're going to attack a bunch of towns, and then they may backstab you, so you got to be careful there. This guy can go to hell, so I'm going to cancel, because I'm about to attack him. And I think I'm friends with Athens right now, so maybe they'll help me. Um, we're going to see in the next turn if we can uh, have them help us with this battle up here. One thing I really like about Rome 2 is that there is no uh, in turn date. You know, you can play the game as long as you want until you lose or until you win by defeating everybody um, or uh, completing the military objectives. So because this is a military play, um, as long as I'm still in the game, as long as I still have forces and towns, I can keep on playing until I complete the military objectives and that's awesome because 
that's always what discouraged me about playing uh, the other ones is that, you know, it was going to end. I had a certain amount of time, and I like to be strategic about how I play, and, you know, I like to play defensively sometimes or aggressive, but uh, I'd like to have the option, and those that like playing uh, defensively too um, have that ability now. War declared. Oh, Athens in. Yeah, they're very friendly to us. Set uh, war coordination target. So you can set a target of like, if you're in uh, like a military alliance or something like that, then you can set targets of who uh, your in, your uh, Ready for battle. your allies can attack. Uh, all right, let's see here. Ready for orders. This town is how how is this town doing? Public order sixteen. Ah, shit. Um, if I move out the military, that's not going to be good. I'm going to have lower. Let's see, 8 and 4 is 12. That's 7. 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. Shit. Oh, I can actually... Uh... Yeah, I'm going to increase this to a uh, Hellenistic village. Oh shit, it costs three food though. I can't do that yet. Uh, alright. That's why food is important. Alright, we whatever. We're gonna go battle. attack this town. No, actually, I'm gonna wait. I'm gonna wait a turn or two before I attack. No, I'm not. I'm gonna attack. Screw these guys. That's your command. We hunger for battle. Shit. Negative six public order. All right. Here's what I'll do. We hunger I'm gonna for send battle. this guy way up here. I want hourly patrols. I think my main town will be okay. Hopefully Athens doesn't attack me, but uh should be all right. My skills. I'm going to have my spy. See, the one thing is about uh, using your assassins and spies and stuff like that is that it costs money to actually use one of the abilities. So this is like 460 gold for him to sabotage something. And why would I sabotage something I'm about to take over? Um, that's just stupid, in my opinion. So, <laughs> um, I'll just have the spy go back into in there, and that should be good. All right, and we're going to be moving fast with the turns here for a little bit. I need to research some stuff. There was a patch that came out uh, on Friday. I uh, can't remember what day that was, but uh, the most recent Friday. <laughs> um, normally because I don't know when I'm releasing this video, but uh, it came out on the, the recent Friday and it was only like 26 megabytes. Didn't really fix much. My game is still slow. Um, hopefully they fix the performance a bit. I can play Shogun 2 on full settings with a GTX 570, which is what I have. Um, but for this game, I can't. I had to lower the settings a bit, and it's still, uh, it still jumps down to like 10 FPS and stuff. 
Increase in rank. Your ally is preparing to move against your suggested target. Nice. Ally confirms war target. I like it. The population surplus in this province has grown. Undeveloped land. Expand city. Oh, that's cool. That is awesome. Now what? Oh, okay. Now I can build a homestead. Well, I'm going to get a homestead because that's going to give me some food. And uh, then I'm going to increase this to a Hellenistic village because I'll have enough food. At your command. Advance. Oh, I'm getting closer to him. How much cash do I have? Current treasury. I'm getting 925 a turn. It's pretty good. At your command. To your duties, men. Alright, this is gonna increase the public order having my troops in here. The uh, the amount of public order you gain from uh, troops depends on how many uh, troops you actually have. So I'll, I'm getting five, and that's because I have five troops. So one per troop. So in case your public order is going downwards, um, and you just need like two troop, um, that'll give you plus two if you wanted. All right, end. Wait a minute. I love this. Are you sure you want to end your turn? Uh, this character has an unassigned skill. What character? Commander. Ah, it's Manager, my spy. One other thing I noticed is that you can actually increase uh, the same skill. So there's different levels and ranks of the same skill. So, uh, that's really important for certain things if you get a good... See, this one here, 5% chance of critical success in all actions. I can increase that to 10, but I can't unlock that until rank 4. So, I'm forced to get something else. Um, I'm gonna get this one, Collaboration. Alright. Your wisdom is renowned, and surely Athena herself would see that an attack on these people is necessary. Okay, so... Macedon, or, uh, they want me to attack who? Tylus. Where are they? Uh. Oh, shit. Epirus has wine. Oh, look at that. This tells you what resources they have. Alright, I don't know where this person is. Tylus. Where the hell? I don't know who they are, but, uh... Shit. Should I take out... Alright, fine. I guess we'll accept. Your acceptance here... I'm still developing this town up here. I don't want to get. What the? I humbly ask that you at least consider a formal treaty. Strong defenses need good foundations. Okay, Athens wants me to do a defensive allies, and they want me to pay. Hmm. 
I'm not... I want to take over Athens. I spoke with honesty. Hopefully he doesn't backstab me for that. But as soon as I take over this town, I'm going for Athens. Oh. Macedon is actually getting attacked up there, I think. I'm not going to come to their aid. Screw them. We are Spartans. We do not call for aid. <laughs> yeah, hopefully they fix the uh, the turn rate here. It gets really crazy once you get further into the game. All right, so we've got land management. That's good. Faction encountered. Tylus. Where are these people? Oh, they're way up there. Don't really have to worry about them right now. Um, household expands. What the hell? Galenos General. Send to pool. Uh, interesting. This character already has a full household. What if I hit replace? I don't know what that just did. At your command. Huh. That's Galanos right there. Forty he's age forty nine. Damn, he's old. Spread rumors. Commander. All right, whatever. Um, let's see here. Oh yeah, now I can increase something. Farm is six food. I guess we'll go with a farm. Okay. That's your command. Now I've got six food, you can see here. So, anyway, well, let's go attack Apollo uh, Apollo Nia. God, I can't even pronounce any of these things. Yeah. All right, so they've got uh, about fifteen hundred units. We are going to assault. When defending a river crossing, it may be best to stand back in order to stay out of range of enemy missile troops. Hmm. I don't think they have any walls, so... Shouldn't have to worry about walls. Oh, this is perfect. I love this. Fog makes their missile units uh, not hit me as good. Damn, these guys are badass. Oh, that's a Royal Spartans. Okay. These guys, just some regular Spartan. Alright, let's... Uh, those are hoplites. Hurry, Ikor! 
battle group ready, ready and awaiting orders. Well, I got a lot of javelin men. Spearmen at the ready. Periodkoi hoplites. Missile infantry. Battle group ready Commander. and awaiting orders. Missile infantry at your command. Tell us. Ready and waiting. Commander. Orders. Battle okay, group. got awaiting them all in orders. numbers here. Spears ready. Let's see, what do we have? Shit, we got a lot of those guys over there. One thing I noticed is if you're trying to um, hold down the right click and, and position them that way, they automatically start running. So once you do that, just right click and um, then they'll just go to a certain point, but then they'll start walking. Um, I don't want them to run yet. So we need to capture that point. Now these hella javelmen. I'm going to have them go that way. Got everybody on the move. I gotta fix these lines. Alright, let's speed up time a little bit here. Alright, I want a double line. Stay as you are. Javelin men! Stay in formation. Ready. Hold formation. Hippias. And for these guys, I want. It's an Isis, dude. Magnesia. All right, let's go attack. God, can you imagine that? Look at this shit. <laughs> Alright. General! What the hell? What are you guys doing? Formations are awesome. Look at that. Probably sent way too many guys in there. Missile infantry ready. Ready your weapons. Screw this melee stuff. Turning in our favor. Send them in melee. Alright, let's go check this out. Holy shit. I love how they're like 
jumping around and stuff. Battle's not over yet, guys. Push him up. Oh yeah, we're getting him now. All right, hold on. I gotta get this group. Oh shit, hold on. All right, you guys, I want you to sneak up here and take this fucking point. I wish I could fix them standing around like that. I just kind of do that for no reason. Nice. Took them down good. Let's see, I lost 208 guys. They lost 1146. Spartans are badass. <laughs> I love these little little battle parts right here at the end. All right, so let's see. Occupy. Raise. Subjugate. Loot. Yeah, I'm going to occupy the settlement. Waiting for more orders. Commander. Awesome. So now we have a town. Negative 10 public order, but negative 25 is just because of conquest, so that should be good. That's going to increase my income by uh, 300, basically. Commander. That's good. I don't know what's going on over here with uh, Macadon, but I'll just have to uh, leave them to their fate. And let's see. Currently researching improved irrigation. Probably switch over to something in the military tree. next time. Alright guys, I'm going to have to end it here for this play, but uh, I think what we're going to do is do a sneak attack on Athens next time. And hopefully we can take them out. I'm going to have to build a bunch of troops. But uh, I think we could do it. I think we might be able to, to take them out. Thanks guys for watching. Take care.